Hello everybody, welcome to part 8 of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I do not know why I said 8 like that. Um, so, I did redeem another mystery gift because that was another one. And it gave me 5 rare candies. I'm not going to use them quite yet. I'm going to wait till I at least get 6 and then I can give one each of my Pokemon. Anyway, we are... We are uh, about to go see Ereisu. So we are going to get on that right now. Yes, we're heading outside the village. We need to go here. I hope everybody's having a great day. I know I am. It is beautiful out. Uh, at the time that I'm recording this, it is early March. It won't be early March by the time this gets uploaded. I'll be lucky if this gets uploaded by May. <laughs> Uh, we are just gonna stroll through here. We're pro we're gonna try to see how much stuff we can catch. If we see anything worth catching, like you know the uh, the, the free oh, it already saw us. That's just rude. So let us take care of the problem. I don't think I have a parasect yet, so we're gonna try not to kill it. This shouldn't be enough to kill it. Okay, it wasn't. Which is... Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. That happened. Um. <laughs> I forgot that wild Paris tend to have Venishock. Okay, we we had one already. And apparently it was a mission to see it use Venom. That is a Pikachu. That is a Pikachu. And we are going to catch it. Also, one thing that I'm going to say that I freaking like that they did with this game, and maybe it's just me, is Pikachu and Eevee are back to their original, like, meaty sounds. They don't, they don't, they no longer just go, Pikachu and I, I like that because it, it makes, it doesn't single them out as being unique Pokemon. Some people like it, some people don't. I didn't. Also, now I can say I have a Pikachu. Once my once I can get my Luxio evolved into Luxray, I might swap. But we are now at Oresu. Oh, that's a campground. It's a burned out campfire. Somebody must have been here. Now, who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. Hi. There's only one reason people go poking around out here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly. Prepare for trouble? Make a double? No, I'm kidding. Before we show this poor fool how wrong he was to assume he could ever beat us. I bring good luck to any sis to my sisters wherever I go, and I'll luck to, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I am the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover. Well, I soon have you seen double. In the mi I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. She she wants to prepare for trouble and make it double. Heads I win, and tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest, coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Okay. We're the infamous bandit trio, the misfortune sisters, and your luck just run out. Let me handle this, sisters. I'll only hurt him a little. Come on, Toxicroak. Let's douse this fool in poison. Oh, hi, Toxicroak. Croak. 
not like you're weak to ground or anything. I do gotta be careful though because Toxicro can learn fighting moves. Like Rock Smash. That did a lot of damage too. Okay, we are going to go Mud Slap. That did okay damage, but not enough to, yep. And my Geodude is about to get knocked out. This is fine. Do I have a, my Dartrix has some super effective moves. We're gonna bring out Coco because she's the lowest, she's level 21 and she could use the XP. All right, we are going to use, we're gonna use Air Slash. Bingo. Battle decided. I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the Galaxy team. And a bunch of Pokemon gained levels. <sighs> the Galaxy team continues to spoil things for me, even after I've left. Take that blasted fragment and go. Just leave us alone. I obtained a wall fragment. Yay. A fragment that was once part of a stone panel in the Salacian ruins. It has markings carved on it that appear to be some kind of writing. The weird writing on it made us think this stupid thing was, was some kind of treasure. But it turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. <laughs> All that effort for nothing. Tell me, why are you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? I want to help Kalaba. Goodness, how selfless of you to go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. And I've got a score to sell with the Galaxy team, which now includes you! Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it, in days of spring, beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty. Your days are also numbered, galaxy fool. Okay. All right, so now we can go back to the Salacian ruins. But first things first, I have a dead Geodude and I need to revive him. It's like I have 10 revives or something. All right, and then we are going to Use a potion on both the Dartrix and the Geodude. Oh, Geodude levels up soon. All right, so now we can go back, get some goodies along the way. Right now, it's all the way over there. And there's one of the Iron Bark Tongue. Okay, I don't know what that is, but I'm taking it. There's a, one of those wisps over there. Okay, that is a Ghastly. I do not have one. Ghastly would actually probably be a very baller addition to my team. I could also swap out one of these other Pokemon. Um, I guess we're gonna use Icy Wind. Okay, that crit. <laughs> Oops. Did not mean to do that. So, uh, we'll have to try again when we find another, uh, another ghastly. Okay, that Carnivine was coming right for us. You saw that, right? I don't remember if I have a Carnivine. Okay. A avoid rollout. A giant fucking beaver managed to miss a little plant. So we're going to try it again. Okay, it hit that time, but it was only a... But it didn't do a lot of damage even with a crit. So, oh shoot, okay, we need to see if we can catch. We're gonna throw a great ball. Okay. 
And... Nope! I'm not able to swap mid-fight. Oh, it's only used Absorb. Which knocked out my Babarl. So we're going to swap to Dartrix. And we're going to use Gust. Okay, that did good damage. That did better damage. So let's try to... Let's see if this works this time. Okay, we did get the Carnivine that time. But... I need to consider going to... I am that freaking close to the f to the bloody campground. So we need to rest for a little while. All right. And while we're here, we're going to craft. Okay, we can't craft any Pokeballs. So while we're here, we're going to take care of this. We got a Paris, a Pikachu, or a Paris sect, a Pikachu, and a Carnivine. And we're going to see if this ranked us up to three. Probably didn't, but... Uh, it definitely did not. But we're getting there. And I don't know why I have... Oh, and there's a... There's a ghastly over here. Shit, he saw me. I'm gonna hide behind this rock. Oh, oh shoot! He he just sort of came out of nowhere. <laughs> We're gonna try a heavy ball right away to see if it catches it and if so i'm gonna pause and we're gonna go back to the professor to okay it caught it so what we're gonna do is since this is my first ghastly i'm going to pause go back to camp and swap out probably yeah, and swap out my cricket tune for the ghastly so be right back okay we are back we are going now we are going over there we'll probably chuck a few pokeballs along the way like you know when we encounter things like that psyduck which we caught and that psyduck which we missed there didn't miss it that time can I make it across? Nope. I tried to make it across. Didn't make it. And that took a toll on me. Yeah, so hit points exist for trainers. Don't do what I did. And you will live a healthy and hearty duck. Oh! Oh! You live a healthy and hearty life. That's what I was trying to say. I have a barrel is now level 22. Okay, so we are about to go into the cave. Swap to the Ghastly is my main Pokemon for when I actually encounter uh, stuff to harvest. Good work. Very good work indeed, Kramer. You got the fragment back safe and sound. I'm well aware of Kalaba's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old-fashioned, and so on. But she's given the Pearl Clan all she has ever since she was young. She lived her prime years here in the Hizui region, trusting in the guidance of Almighty Sinnoh. I don't think... I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. Rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm Ursaluna's frenzy, Kramer. 
a raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. All right, let's go give Kalaba the wall fragment. Kalaba and her Babarl. Oh, so you've come to bother me again. Well, come as often as you'd like, but it won't change my mind. Uh, I have a wall fragment. What? You went and retrieved the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're that eager to calm Ursaluna. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. I'll admit I didn't expect anybody else to truly care for Ursaluna. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. And little bitty item to her, and it's a giant wall fragment. And there we go. Good as new. All L I all lives touch other lives to create something. A new and alive. Yeah, I can read unknown, by the way. Let's see what it says. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. See, I told you that. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other, like how you helped retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinnoh's guidance? What is your name, then, boy? I see. Kramer, please lend me your strength so that we may help Ursaluna. It's true that Ursaluna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to his normal state if we can just give him some medicine. I could never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Yup. Ursaluna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. Awesome. We're going to Sludge Mound which is 500, 500 distance units that way. I don't know if it's supposed to be feet, yards, meters. I don't have a clue. And along the way, if we run into any Pokemon, that is a Krikatot. It's running. I'm not going to waste balls on it. Oh my days. That is an alpha tan growth. If I could catch that, that would be Fucking awesome. Please catch. Please, 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 please. Nope. How awesome that would have been if I could have caught it. But I will catch that Tangela. Okay, it looks like I'm going to fight that Tangela. And catch it. I may not even need to necessarily fight it. I could probably just throw a great ball at it and call it a day. We're going to find out. Okay, we caught the Tangela. Which will make for a very good grass type. But I also have a very good grass type already. Okay, so we are going to use poison gas on the Carnivine. Because poison in this game is broken. 
it's literally every time you use an attack, you, you take poison damage. But plus Venishock, if it's anything like the other games, which I should have looked, um, can uh, let me let me look at let me look at Ghastly. I do believe Venishock does more damage if the opposing Pokemon has a status condition. Yup. Let's look at all my Pokemon's moves actually while I'm thinking about it. Okay, we're good there. Uh, it knows it can learn Thunder Wave, but both Thunder Fang and Thunder Shock can paralyze. Root, I'm fine with Roost. I don't need to learn Roost. Um, if you'll notice, I tend to play a very offensive game. It's because I prefer playing an offensive game. And this can learn Tackle and Rest, and I'm not teaching it either of those. I should probably teach it rest, but with how often I go back to, to a town and stuff. Now, I did get a male Hippopotas for that one mission. So I could still get a female Hippo. But first, we're going to knock out this Croagunk, which I actually don't think I have one. Use your attacks with telekinetic intensity. The move's power is double if the target has a status condition. It doesn't have a status condition, and it did very good damage. And it just tried to use a fighting type move on me. Smart. Oops. Wrong button. There is an option to turn off the... Are you sure you want to throw that? And I'm going to turn it off here after we get done this part. Also, I got a crow gunk. Which is apparently my second one. At least of the size category that it is. Some that Geodude's probably using Rock Slide. That is items. I got a few good items, actually. That's a Graveler. That's a Graveler that's coming for me. Oh, it hit. Okay. Um, there. I think all of my moves are not very effective. Nope. Uh, we're going to use Poison Gas. I am going to try to catch the thing. You know, I pro I'll probably use it if I can catch it, because it is a Graveler. Bulldoze is super effective. And Graveler takes poison damage. Because that's the way it works in this game. Because logic. Actually want to catch it, so we're gonna use bite because it's neutral. We're gonna use bite again because it is neutral. And then I'm gonna use a great ball to lob at the graveler. Please catch. Please, 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 please catch. Gotcha. Perfect. And Mabaro can... Oh, Mabaro learned a new move. So let's check moves. Aqua Tail. Hell, Aqua Tail and... It knows Crunch. We are teaching it Crunch. We are going to teach it Aqua Tail. We're probably never going to get rid of Icy Wind. We are going to revive my Ghastly... Again. And use a potion on it. Okay. 
We are almost at the freaking, uh, at what's her name. Do you mind? I see a lot of male hippos, but no females for that one uh, side quest that I was working on. I know I saw her. I just wanted to check over here, see if there's anything over here of interest. There is not. So now let us get to this person. Oh, that's a, that is a side quest. We'll come back for that. We want to go over here. Over here, Kramer. Ursa Luna is enraged, yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. Okay. And... Bear! Now, show your medal to Ursa Luna. But remember that Ursuline is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. It's fine. Don't remember what Ursuline is weak against. Okay, he cannot be affected by ghosts, so he is definitely a normal type. So we are going to poison. Okay, good. You used baby doll eyes, which is fine. Okay, he knows bulldoze. <laughs> Might be using those rare candies sooner than later. Looks like he's rock. So we're going to swap to the barrel. Actually, first we're gonna use an I we're gonna use a revive on my ghastly only because I want him to get some XP. Okay, you're use babe doll eyes, that's fine. We're going to use Aqua Tail. And almost knock it out. Slash did some good damage though. But I did beat her saloon. So, lots of XP gain. And Dartrix learned a new move. Ursaluna, my poor darling, you must be exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you all better. I have a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. That sounds very, uh, it'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poison's what's causing Ursaluna's rage, this is sure to calm him down. We call it Toxagon. Ah, yes, the poison, the poison for Ursa Luna. Bleh! You only get quality voiceovers from DX Kramer. It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursa Luna. There, there, dear Ursa Luna, you've calmed down now, haven't you? It's all very strange, though. He wasn't glowing. Very astute of you, Galaxy Team Recruit. You're exactly right. When you quelled Cleavor's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. But no such strange light erupted from Ursa Luna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. And what is this clinging in Ursa Luna's coat? It seems like some kind of powder. That girl from the Diamond Clan, Aresu. Now, why did she of all people find the need to come and tell me about Ursa Luna? I wonder. Oh! Almost forgot something important. Play your Celestica flute for me, won't you? Bears. Ursaluda opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. And I received the earth plate. A stone tablet boo da 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 We know what the plates do. Ursaluna is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. 
We say that he's digging for treasure, even if these treasures might not always glitter or gleam. Now go and let your commander know of what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. Brr. I can now call upon Ursaluna. Ursaluna will rush toward any treasure he senses in front of him. Press the Y to dig up for treasure when Ursaluna finds a spot that makes him react particularly strongly. You might find something very, very nice. Cool. Okay, so. We gotta go all the way back. You are a male hippopotas. Gosh dang it. That is a female alpha hip. Hold on. But I think she's too high level. She is way too high level for me to even try to catch her. So right now, our plan is to, well, live. There's a lot of male hippos and not a lot of female hippos. And that thing just shot mud at a rock. That is intelligence to the max right there. Anyway, we are going back to the camp. We're actually going to pause for now and we're going to resume when we get back to the camp. Okay, we are back at the camp, but before we go back to town, we're going to do this. Talk to Professor. Uh, Kramer, I think you've got something stuck on you. Bah? An unknown! Is that a Pokemon? Come to think of it, Volo did mention that there were carvings that resembled writing on the walls of the Silesian ruins. But supposing that the professor or the Pokemon we just saw is a species of multiple forms, perhaps the carvings are actually likenesses of this very Pokemon. I'm gonna add a section specifically for that species to your Pokedex, Kramer. Okay. I now have unknown notes. What's this now? Letter-like markings seem to have appeared in the section I've just added. And was that your arc phone I just heard? If your mysterious device is reacting to this new species, I wonder what that could mean. Press the Y button while viewing the cover of your Pokedex to jump to your unknown research notes. By deciphering the cryptic symbols found in these notes, you can try to find all the unknown hiding throughout the region. These unknown possess a mysterious power that repels Pokeballs containing Pokemon, so you won't be able to battle them, but track them down and catch them all if you can. Unknown or weird. Just going to let you know that right now. Anyway, I've caught nine Pokemon. We're going to report the findings. Four Pokemon species caught for the first time. Seven different species caught. Nine total Pokemon. Gives me 3,000 money. And it seems like you made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Must I see most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. All right, so I gained 310 research points. Um, we're going to go back to town. So that is going to be it for this part. I will see you guys next time in part nine. Take care. Peace. Hold on. Wait a sec. There you are. You better hurry to the commander's office. Okay, now we're out. Take care. Peace.